I'm Rose Genevieve with Behind the Set filming Bigfoot with quota quotation marks. And these people just died. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is not, um, I'm just going to. I can't do this with the gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. more yeah, flexibility. <laughs> How you doing, Sonny? You doing all right? Oh, heck yeah. I love this shit. You know that. <laughs> Making sure. So when I go in, if I sort of grab, and as it pops off, lift it. Yeah. yeah. And leave it up. That way it doesn't look like it's shooting through the shirt. It's actually coming out mm -hmm. the sleeve. Okay. You want to just practice that a couple of times or and we'll keep giving him a hand resetting that because it's hard with him with those those gloves there. Yeah, those gloves are really hard to do anything. So when I'm pulling, I'm going to grab your shirt here and pull it back. Okay. You want to go ahead and try, try it a couple of times? Try it, yeah, before yeah, we shoot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, let's get it down. I think if we could get it up like that, it'd be better, you know, but if we could get it up over her shoulder, you know, and then paint her shoulder dark so it looks like it's just, you know, um, yeah, uh, the socket. Yeah. yeah. We, I got some black, we got some paint right here. Yeah, there you go. What color are you looking for? Black. I have black. Oh, you got it. All right. Is there any way we can do that? Is that, is that yeah. Possible? You want black or you want red, dark red? Um. I think a black would sell. It, I mean, it uh, just, it's going to yeah. be quick too. It's going to be quick. I mean, like yeah. split second. Ready? Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Mark Byrne. I'm the writer director of a new film coming out 2019 called Bigfoot! Explanation point. And what I'm, the tagline for it is it's a true horror comedy. So what we're doing is we're having three segments. The first two are comedy where the Bigfoots are, are in a situation where they're kind of making fun of the, if you've seen the show Finding Bigfoot, they're kind of making fun of that, and they're making fun of reality shows in general. And the second one is about the Bigfoots in therapy, and it's kind of just making fun of society in general, but once again with the Bigfoots as the leads. And then the third part is the horror part, where the Bigfoots attack and kill people. So that's more of a traditional uh, Bigfoot story. So that's kind of what it's about. Both of you just go in over top of her. <laughs> Cut. That was great. <laughs> My name is Sonia Thompson. I did not die. My name is Kent Wagner. We just killed her. Yeah. <laughs> I was killed by the hands of Bigfoots. So tell me a little bit about your acting background and how did you get involved with Bigfoot? Well, I've been uh, in film and TV for about 12 years and uh, I've done a lot of, uh, well, I've played dead on Halloween too. I've been a zombie on The Walking Dead. I've been in Zombieland, Night of the Jackals. I've done a lot of really cool things. So uh, uh, playing dead is just second nature to me. Uh, I started doing extra work and with a passion for haunts and horrors and special effects. I. Uh, let Cassin and just know pretty quick. I like doing creature work, and in Atlanta, I've been pretty successful down there doing that. And I got involved with this project, which we had a blast filming today uh, through our good buddy Matt Burns, who runs Forest State Comic Con. And a uh, tip of the hat to the Matt and the crew out here today. Every shot went by nice and quick. Great special effects work out here today, and we had a great time. And uh, hope to get back up here and work with all these cats real soon because it really was a pleasure. So, can you explain to them what you're doing? Uh, right now, I'm going to be using a uh, platinum yeah, silicone <laughs> and I'm going to try and color it to match his skin and make a one piece a prosthetic. Yeah, man, nice and quick, dude. Yeah. I'd love to see playback on that. Yeah. Cool yeah, I think you that drip, and I was like, oh my God. And the meat blew out good, too. I, yeah, I, I yeah, saw man. it, and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, you knew what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. I, I nailed it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, man. Stirring in. Flogging to give it uh, depth inside the material. Okay. And you made it skin tone? Yes, mate. Well, yeah. And that's blood? The red? Uh, just skin pigment. Skin pigment. 
it is a thickener for the silk. Therefore, instead of it oozing down, it'll stand upright so I can try to apply. So he's making this from scratch because we tried to use this scar fix it, um, but they didn't stay on because it's so hot outside that they just kind of melted. <laughs> so we've got to start over. And I am currently with Matthew Almas, who's going to talk about special effects. He just previously did some special effects work with Bigfoot and Bottom Creek. So what else have you done? Uh, several years back, I did a whole bunch of work with a good friend of mine, Craig Rosenthal. Really? <laughs> uh, he had a company that was called uh, SECP, Self-Eating Cannibal Productions. And uh, it was basically just a bunch of small short films that we did, just playing around with the effects. And uh, kind of got me where I am now. And how did you get started into doing special effects? <laughs> It goes all the way back to high school, actually. Uh, wanted to take a little bit of time off from school, so I managed to put a bruise on my own back. And I uh, played it off for about a week. I was able to get out of school, and uh, yeah, when Mom found out that wasn't real, I don't think she was too happy. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you said you've been doing this since you're about 14? Yeah. Okay, have you taken any classes or any of things involved with special effects? No, pretty much. Uh, it was all self-taught. I was just always intrigued with how they made things look on camera. So, uh, just played around with a whole bunch of different materials, anything around the house I could find. Uh, at one point, I'm pretty sure I upset my dad. I was so into Freddy Krueger. I got his work gloves and chopped the fingers off of them and took plastic knives and stuck inside the hands. and played around that way. Uh, as far as anything else, pretty much just YouTube videos, watching other people's tutorials, and kind of adding my own stuff in with what they've already shown, and just kept going from there. What have you learned as a makeup artist since you started? Oh man, I've learned everything from doing a bruise, to uh, fake intestines, uh, fake wounds, bleeding wounds, uh, like you name it. If somebody wants it I'm gonna to try to do it just like uh, with this movie Bigfoot uh, my friend Matt Burns approached me and asked me if I could make a uh, arm and I was like you know what I can do that so I went from using uh, latex materials to I got a plat seal gel pen and made a silicone prosthetic and turned out really really lifelike and Matt and Mark seemed to be very very pleased with it so yeah, I've good. seen that arm. <laughs> it was really it, amazing. It looked pretty good. Yeah, um, who, who wore it? Um, Sonia Thompson from yeah. The Walking Dead. All right, well, back in Percival where I grew up, uh, my neighbor John Fletcher and his mom Peggy Thompson were a huge inspiration on me falling in love with horror as well because we weren't at our age supposed to be watching, but we'd get to watch uh, Tales from the Crypt. We'd stay over at their house late at night I forget what it was, it was like Fridays or Saturday nights, and just being allowed to watch those definitely got me intrigued more on how are things done, uh, the Crypt Keeper himself, creepy, that, that made me want to start trying to make my own props, my own dummies, uh, things of that sort, and then, uh, I mean, on top of that, a uh, big inspiration also was I remember watching the original Swamp Thing with my grandfather. And I was like, all right, this body suit's cool, how'd they do it? Because I knew all that stuff was fake from the get-go, just watching it. But I've always been inspired on how can I make that and recreate it myself? How can I make it better? And where could I take myself in the future? Uh, I'm definitely always trying to get my foot in the door and keep on moving. Do you take pictures of your work? I do. I uh, take a lot of pictures of it. Uh, some of the most recent pictures not allowed to release because... It, uh, confidentiality on all those but um, no if uh, you checked out my Facebook page just about every other picture on there is makeup I've done on myself whether it be the side of my face ripped off with teeth hanging or 
a clown makeup or uh, just body parts and stuff that I made on a whim. Um, you know, pretty much my whole Facebook gathers around my passion for horror. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Get back in the tent! They're playing less like a cat with a bug. Yeah, I'll just I'll just stop wiggling it or whatever. When you say bug, I'll just okay. stop. You know? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the cue. Yeah, that's the break that's we okay. need. Yeah, that's the break. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah, yeah, dude. Got yeah. it. So just do it until she says bug. Bug. The whole time. The whole right. time. Okay. All right. Action. I can't stand here. They're gonna rip us to shreds. So we try to outrun them. Try. Yeah. I don't like it either, but uh, I don't see any other way. They're playing list like a cat with a bug. Okay, that's the break we need. Go now, we might surprise them. But I want you to go first. All right? Okay. Hey, can we get one more of that with you shaking? Okay. Because that the other one wasn't as good. I like the shake. All right, action. <laughs> they really love. Billy, Billy loves me. <laughs> Up. Yeah, yeah. You need the mic in here? Yeah, I was gonna keep it in just to pick up the, uh, the, the, the rattling or yeah. whatever. The rattling, yeah. It's easier to do it. Oh, that's not bad. Folks, you've seen. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. All right, I'll let you know when it's. Just hit that, just say action or whatever? Yeah, I'll just. Where's the audio? Just, okay, there's. Okay. Can you hear it? Yep. Okay, action. Cut. That was awesome. <laughs> That's good. All right. So let me see. Okay, practice what you're going to do just so I can set the shot. That's great. That's great. Something okay. Like that. Yep. Yep. Can I actually pick the tin up? Yeah, you could. Uh, we could do that. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Ready? Yep. Cameras rolling. Action. Hey, about some. Cut. Okay. Is that, <laughs> that probably is enough. I kind of felt like that. Action. So how did you get involved as a director? Uh, ironically enough, I started with public access. And the reason I did that is uh, some friends of mine from my high school went down and took the things with equipment and, and got everything, got the certification. And so they said, hey, we're, we're, we got a slot to do the show. And I said, yeah, I'd love to do it. So we started writing, directing, um, casting, doing all the parts. And so it was a great um, place to learn how to do everything. And so we, we just kind of went through the, the, the motions like that. And then when that show ended, I continued and started Absurd Productions Pictures at that time because I wanted to do bigger and better than just the short skits we were doing on. So uh, I, had a couple, I wrote a couple of scripts and, and that's how I got started. You know, one problem, I saw your feet. I'm just going to get tighter so I don't see your feet. Well, step in the frame. I just want to see where you are. Okay. Okay. 
Let's try this again. So Matthew, can you step back like a couple the other way back? Yeah, yeah, right there. And we'll step for well, no, you could be out of the frame. All right, so everybody's out of the frame. All right, action. Cut. Let's do one more of that. That was perfect. I didn't see any feet. The first one was great, but I realized I saw your feet. I see your shoes. <laughs> Action. Cut. All right. What attracted you to write this, and how did you get? How did you find the cast? And can you talk a little bit about them? I got to do this was I had I always have loved Bigfoot, and so. Um, I wanted to do one, but it wasn't an immediate idea. And then I saw two suits on sale at the, uh, the costume stores going out of business in our town. And I said, all right, if I buy these, then that means the Bigfoot movie's gonna be next. So I did, and, and that was next. And in terms of the cast, uh, you can thank Matt over here for, for getting most of these folks, but we've got a great cast. I was just shot today with Kent Wagner and Sonia Thompson. Uh, we also have uh, verbal commitments out of Genevieve Rossi and Debbie Rashawn. And uh, I won't say anybody else. We've got some other people that we may get, but we haven't got a verbal commitment out of them, so I won't say. But we've got some several names in this. And then everyone, really, almost everyone in this cast has, has quite a few credits doing horror films. So there's, there's no juniors in this. So it's really exciting. It's a brand new cast for me. And I really, part of the reason that I wanted to have Matt bring people in and not me is I've used my folks three and four and five times. And I really wanted to, to do something different with different folks, nothing against them, but just to have a, a new group. And this group is so excited about horror films that they deserve to get these roles. Well, like Mark was saying, uh, we've been friends for a long time. I met him way back on Gypsy Vampire with Conrad Brooks. May he rest in peace. Uh, he just recently passed away. Um, and we, we've been friends for a while. We, we lost touch for a while, and then we, we've reconnected at a con about, what, two or three years ago? Yeah. And about three years ago at a Maze Con in Delaware. And uh, we were just saying, I mean, I thought this was kind of a cool idea. I like the fact that Mark thinks outside the box. You know, he doesn't do the same old, same old horror flicks like we have around here all the time. And that's why I was really excited to work with him. And I'm glad that everybody, I mean, I mean we only shot really one day, but today was just fantastic i mean we can't we couldn't have asked for a better cast better crew everything was just everything just was perfect so we so we're really really excited to see where this goes now yeah no we're good actually we're, we're doing good man it's, it's, it's coming along we're getting close to what, having to suit up and yeah getting close That's yeah. Good. how many how much more we got mark not much uh we just get through this dialogue and then we'll have you guys come and be outside the town awesome, man. yeah uh that last makeup is just getting started now, so we should be done. Yeah, oh, that's good. what I said. Yeah, so I mean, so, so the, the yeah, that's what I said. I mean, it, it'll probably take us. We'll probably be done about ten, fifteen here. If you want to, you want to grab a smizzle. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So. Yeah, we can't stay here. They'll rip us to shreds. We try to outrun them. I don't see any other shores. That's the break we need. If we go now, we may surprise them. And then, then Maud will run out. Well, I don't know if it's like a cat. And then he goes, that's the break we need. If you, if you go first, you may surprise me. You can pop out. Pop out, out. yeah. I got to cut before she runs out of tent, or she's yeah, gonna run you can't right. Run she's out. gonna run right don't, over. Yeah, you. don't run out. We can't do that. <laughs> you cannot do that because otherwise you're gonna otherwise yeah, we'll you're, just let's just get the, the dialogue, and then we'll we can have a separate part of her popping out. There's hopefully no gnats in there. What methods have you found to be an effective actor? Uh, as far as methods go, um, for me, I, kind of, I have to like the script. I have to like the concept. Um, once all that comes together, it's really pretty easy. 
uh, something as far as acting and, and learning the lines. I like to record everything coming from a musical background. That way I record the entire script. I can play the whole thing back whenever I want to, get a feel for what's really happening, see what's gonna happen in the scene, and, and go from there. And you know, it's, it's an easy way to learn for me. You know, everybody learns a different way, but as far as my personal way, that, that's how I do it. And I like to walk and study my lines that way. And uh, of course, reading the entire script is a very important thing to know what's going on in the script so you can develop your character better. Uh, creature acting is uh, body movement is what I've been study studying lately, how, how to move different ways, different creatures, animals, and, and bring that in into, uh, you know, the, the creature acting. And uh, pretty much to repeat what she just said, when it comes to, you know, go, just knowing your lines, going over your lines, and being efficient with your whatever script, sides, dialogue you're given. Uh, but uh, I tend to do more of the creature work, and movement is key on that. So anyone aspiring to do creature work, I definitely recommend you work work on some body movements because it's it's pretty critical to be pulled off any any kind of monster you need a creature to be able to to move that way and uh yeah i didn't think that was too bad actually, that, uh, we were doing some of uh, the comedy part of this one for one of the suits and uh two people came up in the neighborhood to try to keep windows in on the streets if you go by some windows nice dude nice man yeah. anyway yeah, i try one with the teeth and see that one They're good, though. they're fine. Uh, I think they'll serve the purpose here. Yeah, yeah, they got a little. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we will. Uh -huh, exactly. And I will I try I not be... to touch the makeup. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to share? Don't smoke crack. I, I will say this: having been in the Bigfoot suit, all of you folks out there that don't believe in Bigfoot and think everybody's in a suit, get in the suit and try to go out there and walk around, and then you tell me whether it's a Bigfoot or not. Uh, I'll have to check. It's Velcro and it keeps popping. Yeah. I'll check it. All right. No, this is the yeah. small one. Yeah, this is the one we haven't used yet. So this one's kind of a work in progress. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, this, this, well, we're, we're going to make sure we don't see it from behind. Does this one have a see behind? See the behind. See, the behind. see that behind. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to get Bobby pens for those other guys. Cool, basically. Well, what he does is Will sees him and doubles back, and then Kent kills him. Okay. And then he pulls Sonya's arm off. Oh, so, she, so Matt's pulling Sonya's arm Yeah, off. and Kent is the one that's biting the chicken. So nice. we'll have to take a cut after this and, and go get the chicken ready. Yeah, get the chicken yeah. and the arm. And, and the, the arm. The arm. arm. That's what I said. Yeah. So let's just do yeah, a grill, yeah, grill up there. I was like, <laughs> yeah, grill up there. You guys just do a run through. I just want to uh, see if I'm positioned properly. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Then you back in the cave, you kind of go right into camp there, baby. That's good, and I can't see any feet, so that's good. We were talking about that earlier. You want my arms up or down? Yeah, I'd have them up, yeah. So maybe when you when you step in and you see him, so maybe the first couple... Where, where's my footing at when I get into this? Uh, you're in right now. I'm already in? Yeah. So, yeah, you could... When I, I'll say action, and then, yeah, you you maybe take two steps and then lift your hands full up. And when, maybe when he lifts his hands, Will, that might be your cue to run the other one. Yeah. Okay. Our camera's rolling. Action. Okay. All right, I'm going to change this thing. We're just going to go block. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing is, Matt, you'll have to get way back out of the... Window. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll. Uh, okay, camera's rolling. Action.
wait, wait till I say action. That make make sure I got the camera on and Matt's out of frame. Uh, dang it. Keep it, keep it. There you go. Yeah, boom. Okay. Okay. Action. Cut. Okay. That was there. And yeah, you now put go ahead and I tried just do a quick try, a quick move there. Oh, you know what, Kent? If you're in costume, if I see you, who cares? You want me to run it? Like, when we go up and maybe hold that part of the shirt? No, when you when you do the spray, you should be in costume, and then if yeah. I see you, then I can give her, because I, I was I was waiting before, because I could see you. Okay. It's your arm could actually cover up the... Uh, yeah, so if nope. you're in costume, oh, yeah, the then the only thing I would see yeah, is the wand, and it's and black. Like you said, it wouldn't even... What about his face, though? I could even run this down my arm, dude. Like Yogi. Yeah, why, yeah, there you go. And then if I see you, it doesn't matter, and I could get more of the scene. Because no, before, I, I had to, to block you out. I'd like to turn the match man back and pump it all the whole screen. Oh, I, I could do both if I could just, uh, if we can just figure this out. How is this based on our